much. Now, this is a wrap of Women's Month. We have saved the best for last. CNBC Africa's Nozi Pombanjwa recently sat down and spoke to Pumzi Lemlambonoka and asked her about her role as United Nations Under Secretary for UN Women. Let's hear what she had to say. It's more than half of the world's population that we are responsible for, but it's also one of the youngest agencies of the United Nations. Uh, so relatively small if you compare it with UNICEF or, or WHO. So on one end, I'm still building the institution. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm one of the executive directors and undersecretaries who are part of the foundation and the building blocks uh, of UN Women. But uh, also I'm responsible for ensuring that uh, we've got uh, programs that speak to the issues of, uh, of, of women today. Uh, reaching out to partners within the United Nations system, uh, being in sync with member states who feel very strongly that the work that we do in their countries must strengthen what they would like their societies and their women uh, to, to, to achieve. But also, I must also make sure that I manage the people mm -hmm. that make the institution work. We've got 79 uh, offices around the world. In countries where we don't have offices, we work in partnership uh, and or we are represented by other sister uh, organizations uh, or agencies of the United Nations. So I must make sure that those relationships uh, work uh, within, within the UN. We also uh, are one of the UN agencies with a very strong relationship and need for civil society because, uh, you know, Women are very passionate about uh, 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 addressing the women's issues. So I also reach out a lot to civil society. But also as a leader, you've got to take an organization a step further and to respond to the needs of the, of the day. And one of my critical uh, focus areas now is reaching out to men and boys uh, whose role and contribution in taking us to what I hope is going to be the expiry date of gender inequality mm. is critical. What are, you what are you doing differently to your predecessors who've held this post before? Well, there's only been one person uh, who had this job and uh, she actually was responsible for the nuts and bolts, uh, making sure that uh, all of the governance, uh, all of the resolutions that needed to be taken by the UN are taken, making sure that we've got an organogram. So I'm really um, the first person now to see that uh, we are developing depth in mm. terms of our programs. Uh, and I'm sharpening our focus areas. Violence against women is a big issue for us. So I'm spending a lot of time reaching out to partners, mm. ensuring that governments have got legislation around the world, that constitutions uh, of member states uh, are such that uh, you could actually have follow-through uh, follow legislation that uh, makes sure that uh, gender-based violence uh, is, is a crime, it, it, can, mm. be pu it can be punished. Uh, so, and of course, leadership, yeah. uh, supporting women's leadership all around the, the, the world and uh, women's economic empowerment. You've outlined a, a, a couple of your priority areas mm. and I want to maybe go back to the one mm. around the Constitution. Mm. Does the organization have the muscle to enforce some of the changes that you would deem are necessary to empower women? Enforce is a strong word, <laughs> but uh, the fact that uh, we, in most countries, probably the strongest thing and what we are known for is assist assisting governments to review all matters legal that have to do with, with women. And in many cases, we find that we are able to collaborate with parliaments, with heads of state, and as well as uh, with specific mi ministers. So they do change legislation mm -hmm. as a result of our collaborative efforts. Enforcement has been weak, implementation has been weak, and it is actually one of the areas mm -hmm. that I am focusing on. I'm actually going to be redefining a one, of one of my deputies uh, has got to focus just on that mm -hmm. because I have identified that as one of the areas where we have challenges. It's probably just as much a challenge for UN women as it is if you know in our in our own country we've got great legislation. Implementation can be a challenge. I would like 
with the experience that I've had in government to use what I've learned in South Africa where we've made breakthroughs in terms of implementation, what I've, I'm learning in the United Nations from other countries to really fine tune how we track the passing of legislation to uh, making sure that uh, it is uh, adopted nationally and that uh, from there onwards it is actually being acted upon. Well, that was Pumzile Mlambo Ngoka, United Nations Under Secretary General and Executive Director for UN Women.